guys. Welcome to the Stamp and Scoop Show. We think 142. Yeah. Which one, is 40, 142. We've kind of It's lost number track. 100 and something. It's a lot. <laughs> 140 something. <laughs> Today we are going to be playing with, an, uh, just be prepared to fall in love with the Hues of Happiness Suite from If Stampin you haven't Up. fallen in love with it, like, I, I think we probably convinced yeah. you when we first opened it. But the, there's a lot of reinforcement today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are absolutely going to freak out at some of this stuff. And if you're not familiar with it, it's the one that's featured on the front of the catalog. <laughs> yep, true story. So we'll show you uh, that and much more coming with up. With so soon. many samples. Yeah, like so oh, many. You're going to freak at these too. Freak. <laughs> and we're going to do some stamping with it. So welcome aboard. While you guys are jumping on board, be sure to hit subscribe and that like button all at the same time because we love you, you and we want, want you to be come notified. Back. <laughs> <laughs> and while you guys are jumping on board, we'll tell you what we're giving away today. Ooh. Since we are uh, live, we like to give away some freebies and we got a good one. Yeah. This is awesome. The uniquely artistic stamp set and catalog tabs yep. which is a big deal yeah you can't buy these you can't buy them and they're for your new catalog and there are labels <clears throat> little tabs for the side they're pretty awesome so that's what we're giving away to enter all you need to do is drop a comment here we want to hear um what your favorite <laughs> cards are when we share oh okay we share our cards share share what you love <laughs> and if you share this video Please do. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> and type the word shared into the comments. You'll be in You have to type shared time. into the comments. Yeah, so we know. Yes. Just yeah. like that. Who's yeah. that? Lisa, Lisa just did it. Thanks, Lisa. Thanks, Lisa. Woo! Perfect Here example. <laughs> so there just you go. Like let that. us know you shared <laughs> and let us know what, what you love the best. All right. So. <clears throat> because winner, winner. Chicken we got winner. Our, our winner from the last episode. And that is um, Joyce. Mahaney's? Mahaney's, I think I'm saying. Mahaney's? Mahaney's. Could be. So, Joyce, congratulations. So, my phone, my watch just showed the preview <laughs> of us, and it's instead of the usual, it is us <laughs> smiling. I don't know if we can see it on the. Yeah, let's see if I can put that. It is, it's the preview. <laughs> I'm like, sometimes that's actually not a bad picture. I know, usually it's sometimes not a good it gets one. you like, <laughs> oh Usually it's not goodness. a good one. I've never seen that before. So, welcome if you just saw that great photo of us. <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> All right, so um, the Joyce is the winner of our last episode, so be sure to fill out the prize claim form so you can um, be entered to win. So again, using hues of happiness, it's gonna make you happy. <laughs> you it can't not be happy playing with this. No. And the last uh, <clears throat> thing that we really want to share with you guys, actually, it's not the last thing. There's a couple things here. Is the in color starter kit? <gasps> this is like awesome. So you join, you pay $99, you get $125 worth of anything you want out of the catalog. Then, in addition, you get for free all these in color products the paper, the design series paper, the ink pads, and the uh, grid paper. Like, hello. Yeah, I think we said it was really $66, I think, of free product in addition to the $125 for $99, plus free shipping, plus you get a paper pumpkin so kit. Yada, yada, yada. Basically, well, what we're saying is if you have anything on your wish list yes. from this new catalog, and I'm sure you do if you've opened it up, I'm sure you do, and you will after this episode, yes. I guarantee. This is the best way to go yeah. because not only do you get, what, that $60 add-on, yeah. $125, that's $185 for $99, you also get a discount on your future purchases. Yeah. So, I mean, that alone yeah. is and you get us. totally worth it. Right. And Hello. Then you, then you get to be part of a stamping group and we love you and we have all <laughs> kinds of fun and cool stuff to share and you don't have too. to sell yeah. yeah yeah that's totally optional yeah. the paper pumpkin if you order by what the hell am I going to be in June 10th you can get the pick of the crop which is the monthly subscription card kit there will be an add-on on the 13th of June where you can buy those cute little bags they are adorable I think these are so cute I love paper pumpkin and it gets better every month and if you sign up with Tammy or myself on either stampwithtammy.com or craftystampy.com because we get the full details on Paper Pumpkin and how to join, um, you will also be included in the PPX video uh, distribution of six or seven exclusive videos of alternatives. Every so, month. Every month. Every month. And they are flipping awesome. 
Because every month I see what everyone else is doing. I'm like, oh, I got to up my game next month. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I love doing this when people jump on. Kathy Crow, you're not <laughs> late. <laughs> you came here just in time. <laughs> I love that when people think they when people think they missed the live and they get, they get right we're in the still beginning. in the get going. We have chatting. not even started sharing yet, so you're no. right, you're right on time. <laughs> you are right on time. Speaking of sharing, let's see what we got here. So we mentioned this that we're playing with hues of happiness, which is the cover of the catalog. So it's I mean it's beautiful, right? This alone is beautiful. Yeah. I mean the fact that it made the cover right. of the catalog. It is tells like, you it, it's it's superb. Right? That, that that's one of the things that uh, you know Stampin' Up loved it so much. It, it, obviously when they put something on the cover it's something that's going to jump out at you, right? Yeah. So we're going to tell you a little bit more. You and somebody said it looks complicated. That card looks complicated. Actually, After it's this not. video I think you're going to see that it's super, That's probably the easiest. Super easy to make. Yeah. So we'll share what the suite is. It has um, the Happiness Abound stamp set. And that's a line art stamp set with some great words. It's got great fonts. You know, they, I love the, the script font. Beautiful. And the words. You can color this. You can use it, you know, plain. It, it, it's got a lot of different uh, varieties And there. we have a lot of samples to show you later yeah. with it used all in those different ways. And just in case, I know we get, always get some new people a suite, which is what we're calling this, and it is a sweet suite, um, <laughs> is. is when Stampin' Up! groups a bunch of items together that they feel will coordinate well. And it is put together under one item code to make it easy for purchasing. But you can purchase them all yeah. individually because you're going to want more and more you of this paper. Are go right. I was just going to say more. that. You're going to want to stock up on and this more. paper. I literally just bought <laughs> I bought three more packs yesterday because I used up my entire... I mean, I just... I love it. And and I, I don't know. It's the kind of paper that I just want one just to yeah, have. Yeah, I know. It is, it is yummy I'll paper. And the rest. Yeah. So these are the dies that coordinate with the stamp set. But... They don't just coordinate with the stamp set. They also coordinate with the designer Zip series it. paper. And we know that you love that. So yeah. we'll share we'll show that with to you. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Down. So here I always like to do the little samples so you can see exactly what they cut out. So there are one, two, three. These are some interesting unique dies. So this one just it doesn't cut out um like in, in total. It just makes this design in your paper in the background. And what's cool is it cuts out full I'm going to call them leaves, like on a, on a lattice or something. But there are some that it's only cut like the outline, so it looks like a little leaf. And then you get these two like edge bands, like you've ripped it out of a notebook or something, which are great. The rest of the dies coordinate with all of the images on the stamp set. So every single image, uh, not words, but the flowers, has a corresponding die to cut that out. So you can see that all here. And as we said, all of those flowers, except these two, so all the dies that match these open flowers, actually die cut from this, this piece two. of paper. And the, the, there's two in colors of that pattern, so it's two sheets. So it's actually four sheets because there's two of each sheet. So the dies, this it's one like cuts this out one. the larger one. There's this one this with one the stem. This one cuts out the, the smaller yep, the one stem. here. This, this one, one cuts out the rose. And then the two leaves. And then this cuts out this, this oh, little guy over right, right here. Yep. And then we've got two leaves. One there and one So there. you could like cut out almost every single flower on these papers. And I have. It's <laughs> stunning. I have. That's why I started hoarding yeah, this so paper because... One of each, so oh, one, two, it three, is four, five, wonderful, six. Yeah. wonderful. And that's you what know we love all these when, flowers are when you do this. And what's nice is they make this paper still very pretty on its own with all these little flowers in between. So if you just want to cut it out and use it as the background of your card, mm -hmm. you can. It's not just like a bunch of flowers for you to cut out. It's like a duo. It's so cool. I'm glad they think of it like that. I know. I, they listen to us. They and listen. then you get the you guys, rainbow. This You guys write, and so we'll share Everything's we'll got share the that. rainbow. We'll share the taste of the rainbow in just a minute. Yeah. So these are glossy dots, and they're little, they just, they're, they're, um. There are so many of them. I love how many there are. There are 180. That's a bargain. Yeah. And yeah. they are in Gorgeous Grape, Melon Mambo, Daffodil Delight, and Pool Party. Like, yummy. Yay. So, the rainbow, we, we'll show you the front of these and then we'll, yeah. we'll show you some cool other, thing, other things that you probably didn't know that this uh, paper can do. Okay, so they are, these are the same. These two pages are the same. 
just different colors. Yep. So we've got the, you know, like the Melon Mambo, the Blushing Bride, Fl Flirty Flamingo, the yellow Daffodils, here, yeah. and then we've got the... Um, Highland, Heather, or Frasia? It looks like Fresh Frasia. Fresh Frasia, Gorgeous Grape, Night of Navy, Pool Party, and Cabana. And this one... Has it almost so, all of it, right? It has, yeah. it has a, a lot, and, and they're a little bit smaller flowers. And then this one, oh my gosh, right? Yeah. Do you not love, love, love? It's love. so pretty. This is totally Linda. That's my, I was just saying, that's my favorite <laughs> one. The, the navy. The blue one is totally yeah. Linda. And then we've got some just uh, flower rainbows here in it's different so colors. Pretty. So you could cut them this way and do individual colors, or you could cut this way and do rainbows. Yeah. So, but that's not all on this paper <laughs> because it is double-sided. The yumminess just continues on and so, on. So, some cool things about the, the double-sided paper this. is, hold on, there's three of them, right? It, there are three sheets that, I, I can't even get the camera to go back yeah. far enough to see all of so that. So, we, we, we start here. <laughs> And then you move this way. Right? Look Isn't this. that awesome? Oh my God. So I you got love the it. full rainbow effect there. So lots of fun things that you can do. I just want to frame those three these. like on the wall, you know? Right? Wouldn't that be They're cool? They're so pretty. So that's the backside of these three. If you can bear to cut and them up. And I know, right? That's why I wanted extra. Yeah. And then we've got this one that has all in one. It's like a smaller version of that. So, yeah. And you know what? Right? Right, Tina? Sometimes you get bummed out because you don't want to put, you know, one side down. Yeah. You don't know which one you're going to choose. This is a tough one. Now, you know, we're, I'm going to show you a few things. We're going to share a few things. <laughs> that, so the back sides of these are some more prints um, that you can use double sides of yes. the paper. Yes. Some that you can't, some that you can. All right. So what do you think? Stamping? Stamping. Stamping. All right. Absolutely stamping. So I am going to stamp something this morning that I, I um, and I'm credits to Mercy Designs. We're <laughs> going to make a little uh, flower pot, which I just think is absolutely adorable. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to take that designer series paper that we just shared with you. I'm going to take those dies and I'm going to cut out whichever flowers, whichever well, color you whichever want. Whichever color you want. you got so many options. <laughs> Whichever color you want, and some leaves. And, and five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I love the magic of video. <laughs> and then I use the uh, layering diorama dies for the um, for these pieces here. So I, I pre-cut these. They were all you know super easy die cuts. And then I'm going to take the word friend from the stamp set, and I'm going to stamp that on this the small. This is the smallest and the second smallest. Um, layering diorama but don't worry you don't need to write this down because <laughs> we will have a free pdf for you we promise we do. Free PDF for yep. you. measurements and all the supplies we're using uh as after the video about an hour after this video yep. on our blogs so craftystampin.com or stampwithtammy.com yeah okay friend was upside down <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna we're you gonna would have made write, that work even upside down we're gonna write our friend <laughs> and stamp it i'm just using some soft suede ink here Pretty much went with everything. Yeah. And then I am going to, just so I don't lose this, attach these two together. <laughs> because, you know, little pieces on the table tend to get lost. So yeah. I've got a frame there. I've got a mat for my... That's awesome. For my words. Super easy. I've never used the dioramas for uh, greetings. I think that's a great idea. So now I'm just going to put these aside just for one minute. And we are going to do some cutting. So I've got... This is a three and a half by four inch piece of early espresso and a ruler. Grid paper actually works really well too if you, if you have that handy. <laughs> and glasses. And if you're like <laughs> me, this is kind of a necessary part. So I'm just gonna put a little tick mark at three quarters of an inch at the bottom on either side. So three and a half tall, four inches wide, and three quarter tick mark on either side. Got our, our little trimmer here, and we're gonna go ahead and line up. That's I know it's really hard to see this tick mark because it's espresso and it's already dark. <laughs> but take my word, I'm lining up the tick mark yep. right here with the um, 
So you have the top corner over here and the tick mark down here on the so track. Corner to bottom. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing on this side. Even I can't see the tick mark there. <laughs> really, blend, really blends. Okay. So that is going to give oh. us... Put this little on top. We've got a little flower, flower pot. pot. Cool. <laughs> So this is Mercy Designs. I, I hope I said that. If I didn't say that, I, I got, whoops, I'm, I didn't need that phone. Right. I was very inspired by a very similar project that she made um, doing this. So shout out to her and thanks. Okay, so <laughs> I've got um, a four and a quarter by 11 inch piece of cardstock that I'm going to score now. So scoring, you could use a simply scoring tool just because I already have this out. I'm going to take the scoring blade, which is the lighter of the two blades, and we just lost our cameras. So <laughs> we're just going to look at the table. <laughs> Never fails. No. <laughs> I'm scoring at five and a half and two and three quarters. And basically that's half and quarter yes. of this. So we're going to do a little Z fold there. I'm going to move that off to the side. And we're just going to burnish that just so that it's down really good. And... I'm gonna go ahead and decorate it. Now I've already pre-cut these. I have all the measurements on that PDF again, so you you can download that right after the, well, in about an hour after about the an video. Hour. And I'm just gonna go ahead and layer these on the outside and the inside. And then we're gonna go ahead and take the pot that we just, <clears throat> that we just made. I know it's hard to kind of see that on the background. <laughs> I'm gonna put some adhesive along the very top so I'm gonna fold that down. I'm lining this up with the, the early espresso mat. So I didn't line it up with the bottom, although you totally could if you wanted to. I'm just lining it up with the early espresso mat. And it would help if I put the adhesive <laughs> side down. I'm like, what's she gonna yeah, do? Yeah, what's gonna happen wow. now? Matching. <laughs> All right, so that gives us our flower pot. I'm gonna put some adhesive. Oh, that's a cool one. idea. See, I have no this idea how is... she made this, so I, I'm in <laughs> awe at this as well. Oh my gosh. Tell me more, Tammy. Tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm just putting this on with Stampin' Dimensional. So that's the top of the flower pot there. What a great idea. And then we're going to bring in our die cuts that we had previously out. And the friend is going to go on with those dimensionals on the inside. And that's going to hold up our flower pot. So I'm going to put that right about there. So when we put this up here and I'll put it on the lower cam, I think lower cam's still being, <laughs> still being happy with us right now. So it, it'll stand up on its own. We've got a nice little easel That's the going easel, there. Yeah. And <clears throat> then we're going to take these pieces and decorate. So what I did was I started and pretty much, I, I'm pretty much using dimensionals on all of them, I think, except maybe the leaves. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and flip those over, add the dimensionals, and then just kind of piece them in there. Piece them in like we want them. Isn't the back, even the back of them is pretty? The backs are so right? pretty. Backs are pretty, fronts are pretty. This is where it gets sad. <laughs> I was going to have to cover it up. Down. So, let's see. This one was kind of on the edge of the designer series uh, paper. So stick it. But it's going to get hidden oh, okay. by... One of the flowers I'm going to... I was going to say, you can also stick it so it goes like under the Oh, yeah, pot. totally. That's why I always use the ones with the edges. They, they, they tick, so there's stick no, under things. So there's no waste on your designer nope. series paper. And I don't know. I'm just kind of randomly throwing this in <laughs> Let's see. We're going to take one of these and put it up top here. And yeah, we'll put one of those down there. What do we got now? I, I like this one better because... Kind of goes with that. Oh, yeah. Kind of, I, I kind of did multicolors. I just wanted to see what it would look like with the two different colors. Uh, and <clears throat> I'll, I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. <laughs> you could use glue dots on these leaves if you wanted to. I'm just going to use some dimension. I mean, use some seal adhesive here. Sure, okay. And I've got another extra flower, so... That right there. What do you think? Down here? Oh, that's a good idea. Like it's fallen right out of the pot. And woo, <clears throat> done. And now we have our easel card. And 
She stands right up on her Yay. own. Super easy, right? Super quick, super easy, super fun. These are all just the die cuts. These these um, flowers were just die cut from the designer series paper. So easy. All right. So, are you guys ready for this? <laughs> oh, we're back on. We're back on that. I'll see if I can fix that in a minute. All right. So I'm just gonna move this one out of the way. Right. So once I made one. <laughs> She's like, look what I did. I'm like, oh my God, you went I, crazy. I was like, oh my God, look at all these pretty colors in the I love paper. So, oh yeah, you, you know what? I didn't add this on. I just tied the ging ging gingham ribbon around the bottom and added the iridescent so things perfect. on it. So I don't know if I could even get them in that way. Yeah, we gotta... So we got a rainbow here. So I, I had to use all the colors. Once I started going, I, I was just, I just went nuts. <laughs> So, and these are all cut from the designer series paper. So I did, Perfect. I did all the colors just to show what they all would look like on there. And uh, they all stand up. So they're all kind of fun little interactive cards for your, you know, for your loved ones, for your friends. So and I use the iridescent. Because cool. um, okay, don't be fooled. You know your friends and family when they get a card from you that you've handmade. It goes on the mantle. Yeah, you need You definitely what need to What a way to, to present it. a card yeah, on the mantle. Now, now I know why you needed to order more. Yes, yes. Because once I started doing that, I couldn't stop. And then, <laughs> well, you'll see in a minute. But I used the iridescent rhinestones on these because they went with all the colors. <laughs> but if I was just doing one or two that matched, the, the glossy dots would look awesome on them too. So you'll be able to download the um, PDF, and that also has a little template on the back. Uh, about an hour after this. Yeah. If you're watching the replay, it's probably already out. Right. Okay, so I'm going to have Linda's got some, some uh, more. She's I got could, a bunch to I share with a you. a lot of samples. I'm going to have her share, and I'm going to see if I can fix the <laughs> camera, because that seems to be what, what we do every, know, week, yeah. every week. All right, so... All right, so these are some samples that I got as swaps. So there are some absolutely stunning, and some are really simple. Like this one is purely just cutting out the DSP and some stamping, easy. Whereas this one actually, you know, die cuts the flowers like Tammy did. You can do it as simple as this, or more, a little more complicated. So pretty. Here's another one. Just uses that uh, rainbow check basic sort of paper that's in the thing um okay do we have a way to uh x nay some people who are putting oh, we got bad problems. we got yeah okay trolls um, ignore people tammy will take care of the oh, trolls times. <laughs> <laughs> the orange gotcha okay so uh, here we got um just cutting the same dsp out with some circles and here's another simple one where it's stamping um, a monotone on the uh, paper. Here's another one just uses the uh, images with some water coloring and some, I think this is the penciled paper, the perfectly penciled. Something like that. Um, <clears throat> here's another one. This one uses that uh, die that just kind of does the background and then uses one of the die cut out um, Stamps of the flowers. Not back, back. Here's another I one. We were fixed, but then we're not. Okay, <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Never yeah. don't mind me. This one's a book fold, you know. So the it has like a um, a place that does binding edge. binding edge. There we go. There we go. I'm like what? Does thank it say? you, Janet, for okay. reporting them. I didn't have yes, a way to do it. Thank you. I know you guys are great. All right. It was just a U on the YouTube. But yeah. It's not on oh, is that where it is? Yeah, okay. It's not on the Facebook. So this one, okay, I to take good pictures, put glue dots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do so the so they don't open really. Some go down here. So this one opens this way and then opens this way. Isn't that kind of cool? And I don't know if you can see, it's got that embossing folder with the flowers with just the stripe. This I love this one. How it's so simple. And it's like, of course it has that blue paper that I know is all over so me. You. So you. Um, look at this one. This one's so pretty. It's uh, heat embossed with the Ooh, new polka like dot the sponging dye. In the too, Isn't that pretty? Nice. Just a little touch that so you don't so. have to color it. Yeah. Here's another one. Sorry, hold on. Another one I gotta take apart. Hold this on. This is best show today. She loves all the cards. Oh, good. <laughs> hold on. I'm, I gotta. All right, so this is a like a Z fold, but not. I think you know, that's what is it? A, I don't know the names of folds. Yeah. I'm. I did have a name. Is that the um, joy fold? Is it a joy? 
I don't know. It's a cool it's fold. It's cool. It's cool. It's really pretty. That's it's like an we're inverted, gonna go double, with. inverted double Z. This one's cool. It's got a pocket. So the card that you would write in goes in the pocket. And has another one. This flower die or Darling embossing not. folder has Darling been used. Joy fold. Joy fold. Okay. With a lot of them. So flowers with flowers. And here's another one similar. Uh oh. Sorry, sorry, this is just me playing. Go ahead, you're still on. Um, I'm still on. And they just I'm cut just the that pretty DSP into three panels. Isn't that kind of cool? And then used uh, two of the dies. I like that idea to just um, highlight the greeting at the bottom. And then here's another one that's a book fold. The inside, kind of pretty. Now these two I are like last that. two are mine. I like this one a lot. That's really cool. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. So this is another one um, that I did. And I just used the outline on the edge, and then I used, um, I think it's the printed. Oh, did I grab? <gasps> so let me tell you what I did. So I, was, I had to make 20 swaps, and I didn't want to waste my paper. So I grabbed paper from last year that was similar so I could plan it out. And this is last year's paper. I'm going, this doesn't well, look like it. it's very similar to the... Um, so I don't have the right ones. This the is the pencil, the pencil perfectly paper. Penciled. So I use the perfect pencil exactly like this. They have a stripe. It's a little more... It's not as defined and a similar flower. And I grabbed the wrong one as I was leaving the house. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'll grab the one that's got the ribbon because I didn't do the ribbon in mine. Oh, what an idiot I am. And then there's this one. Of course, I use the blue for my swap. And again, I just stamped the outline in three different colors. Um, and it, on the back, I use that same flower embossing folder. Now, don't That's forget, everywhere. we want to hear your favorite. Yeah. Don't pick the one that I use retired DSP. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, there's more, but wait, there's more. So, you know, I, as I said, I started crafting and I went nuts. I just couldn't stop. Let me see if I can. No, that camera's not going to come back. Again, so <laughs> we're just going to go. You're just, you guys, you know what we look like. Yeah. And we're just going <laughs> to not be on there. <laughs> so this one's just a simple one done with designer series paper. I cut out the flower from the designer series paper. And then I use the, um, I like the that. Dial the shapes, uh, dies because I use those on everything. Now. Yeah. They're the those new, are my new go to. Now dies. this one, this is texture chic paper on the background. So it's got a little texture chic. And then we've got, um, some of the, uh, designer series paper cut out there and then because everybody loves the teacups so we've got some teacups here and this is the what's the vellum um, um it's the 12 by 12 vellum it's i, I can't I, i'm drawing oh, wait 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 i think i wrote it on the back. back so let's see do, 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 do. I guess it's, I just have written layering vellum on the back. So anyways, I did um, use the stylus shapes to cut the circle. There's some vellum underneath. I will have to, I will have a tutorial on, my, on this tomorrow on my blog so you guys can get the instructions for how I did this. I embossed the teacup and then I cut these out of the designer series paper. And then these next two, very similar to the one on the cover of the catalog, except the one on the, ca the cover of the catalog was um, designer series paper for the flowers. So I'll just sorry. sneak that in there. I'm reporting people over here, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So this is, it's sort of similar. It's got the, you know, the background on the designer here. I used this spiral cut um, edgelet that's part of the dies on the edge there. Uh, the difference is these were cut with the designer series paper and I colored my flowers and leaves with stamp and blend markers. So, these two I will also have um, instructions for on my blog coming up this week. We can look forward to those at some point this week. And then uh, recently, a few months ago, I got into explosion cards. And once I get going on something, I can't stop. So I've got the designer series paper here. And then, boom, we've got designer series paper on the inside. I layered it on the, on the background of the inside because I just I was having a lot of fun with that designer series paper. And there's that ribbon again the frayed ribbon that was on Linda's card. And then here's another explosion card with the, the blue designer series paper. And then I use the darker uh, blue with the little dots on the inside. And then we've got a little bit of that rainbow. And I use the circles from the stylus shapes. And 
Then I've got an accordion card. Now remember I said you could use both sides of the paper here? Here we go. We've got, boom, this side. So you don't have to pick a favorite there. I've got the words. We cut out the, um, the flower from the designer series paper. And then I've got this one here is uh, colored with Stampin' Blend markers. The whole thing. I've, I've done it on shimmer white cardstock. Colored the whole yellow, all the yellow roses. I know some, there was a yellow, um, a ye yellow roses on one of Linda's. Yes. Uh, trolls are, trolls are apparently a YouTube issue today, Stephanie. <laughs> yeah. So if you, I'm trying to if, report them, but it seems like I'm reporting them on my account I and think, blocking them, but they're still showing up. On I think Instagram. they're on mine and I can't do it while I'm, I'm yeah. live. So I, it, it will, it won't pick up on the, on the replay. They won't see yeah. it, but. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know what that's. Uh, this is That's new. kind of new. This is yeah, new. for bringing me back to the Periscope days. <laughs> no, oh but if it's bothering you, you can switch over to uh, Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. Facebook doesn't have the trolls. Yeah. Um. So anyway, <laughs> not, not on wood. <laughs> Anyways, here's the refreshing yellow, and this one was cased from Stacia Bloodheart, who is an artisan. This is stunning. Yeah. Artisan um, with Stampin' Up. Look at how beautiful this is. Now, this is the edge lit dye down here. Use that rainbow designer series paper for the background and then cut coordinating flowers out to match the background on a slim line card. So I'll have some instructions for this coming up on my blog this week. And while I'm doing slim line cards, this one, I use the gorgeous. Stampin' Blend markers here, Poppy Parade, <clears throat> and some Cherry Cobbler. I will have instructions for this coming up this week, too. These just, oh my God, the flowers pop. So now you can see the stamp flowers colored. You've seen, we've seen them just sponged. We've seen them done so many different ways. And then we also have the slimline envelopes that, that fit the slimline cards. I know, right? You need the paper. It's awesome. Yeah, the paper last, is a must. My last share... <laughs> I know I couldn't stop, right? I couldn't stop. So <laughs> I've got this was the um, Horizon dies I used for oh, this, yeah. and then it is <laughs> card in a box, pop up a card <gasps> in a box. Look at that. So, whoops, sorry. I guess this. No, thought I had it right. I had it right the first time, but this little guy. This is so it. Alice Houston. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Totally, <laughs> totally. So. There are uh, flowers. I do have a video on my blog on how to do these. I will link it. I will put instructions for what I did. Now, these flowers are all cut from the designer series paper, but I cut, um, I think, the fo foliage dye I used for those. And then um, that, that perfectly penciled paper. Oh, yeah, perfectly that, penciled. That's gorgeous. Like the, the paper that was like <clears throat> the one you were just sharing. Yeah. So that. <laughs> Trying to share. Like that, right? And then <laughs> we've got some glossy dots on there. So this is card in a box. It, and... I mean, you can make it so that all your things fit in there and then it will fit neatly into an envelope, but I had mine exploding all over the place because I like it that <laughs> way. So you got to custom make your envelope for that one. But I will have instructions and I do have, you can type explosion in a box video on my, um, on my blog, Stamp with Tammy, and I do have a video for how to make these. So those are um, all of the cards. I don't know if that will come up on the... Lower, we our, our face cam is not working right now. So, yeah, all right. <laughs> we're yeah, so we're gonna say goodbye. Yeah. So unfortunately, we can't we can't pop back on and say goodbye that way. But we hope you have loved the suite of products, and we hope that you have enjoyed the video. Be sure to uh, drop a comment. Let us know what what ones you like the best. I will have tutorials for, for these some of these on my blog coming up this week. We've got our little uh, flower box card. And we appreciate you sticking with us through. Uh, if you're on YouTube, we appreciate you sticking with us through the trolls. Hopefully they're gone. Thank you yeah. for reporting them, those of you who did. Hopefully that's a temporary thing and they get that fixed so it doesn't happen again. But if it does and it bothers you, pop over to. We're on Facebook, yeah, Facebook. and YouTube. So if one's having a problem. And Twitter. And Twitter. I'm on Twitter I, as well. I figured out how to get it on Twitter, Twitter too. So. Yay! Yeah. All right. So, we're so now six we're on six places. Six, six places. So if one's bothering you or one's not working, yeah. pop on over to Try another the other one. one. <laughs> Give <laughs> us love in all areas. <laughs> we love yeah. we love that. Yeah. Thank you so much <laughs> for joining us today. <laughs> Bye.